Hey guys, Trickshot here, and today I'm going to be running down my You're Gonna Love Me project, and it's just going to be a very simple and how to make rhythm type tutorial. For the most part, this song is very simple. I just use approximately maybe three to four actual stems from the songs, and then other than that, it's just very simple. Pianos, following melodies, little additions that make it kind of original and so on so on so let's start out with the vocals the vocals are just you're gonna love me by eliminate you're gonna love me yeah you better love me you're gonna love me yeah you better fuck me don't fight me yeah fuck me don't fight me you're gonna love me now i did pitch this one down in octave lower but that's pretty much it for the vocals. I do like this kind of free job. Yeah, you better love me. <laughs> I do have this downlifter. Just very simple white noise. A vocal reverse in the same key as the song. All very clean. It's very quiet for two reasons. I wanted to leave room for the master using this ozone preset which is minus 8 db that gives it a lot of room to properly master it and the way i mix this which is an incredibly amazing way to mix which i will be showing in a separate video it kind of makes everything clean and kind of quiet at the same time a whale call eliminate now here's the piano, which I followed up by A strings. Ambience. This is a very like kind of melodic, yeah, trappy rhythm song. Now afterwards I added a 808. I added this ARP with a lot of delay, and it fits in really well with the song. Yeah, you better, but we don't fight me. Now, little additions like this, like little background elements, can do a lot to the song and add a lot of motion, and kind of just make it sound more professional. Now, next we should go into like the actual percussion and drum part of this. Now, it's really nothing to shine about, obviously. Samples, a few loops, very, very simple stuff. Here we have a drum loop from Somatics. Then we have obvious our, obviously our kick. It has a bit of that high-end cymbal-y type texture to it, which goes well to it because I usually add a crash to every kick that I have, but in this case I didn't have to since it already came with the kick. Next we have our snare, which is just your normal trappy snare with a bit of pre-shift, which kind of gives it a better, a more different texture than other, other rhythm songs. Then we have the hi-hat loop, which is normal trap. And it is side-chained, the cymbals are all side-chained to the drums. Uh, in this case, right here, I didn't side-chain the snare because it didn't really sound what, right? Like this. You're gonna love me. Yeah, you better love me. It just doesn't sound right with the snare. Since the snare really isn't, it's not a punchy like dubstep snare, so it didn't really feel right adding that. But in the drop, I did add a side-chain to the clap uh, kick pattern. Now we have a crash. Ride going up one fourth. Very simple, but sounds me. very good. For uh, the build up, all I had that's really different is obviously just a brass. And this sub down. 
which just goes down and then it comes back up later on in the build up. These drums are just from my sample pack. But I added a lot of effects on this snare. A lot of glitch effects. Yeah, you better love me. The effects play a big part. Yeah, you better love me. Now let's move on to the actual bass part of this, and I have the main bass from my rhythm bass tutorial. Then I have a few other basses that I made separately. These are very simple sound design techniques, just a simple sustain, simple yoi, and obviously a sub. And then I have this separate kind of growl that I made. I'll be showing all of the patches and the FX. This is from my rhythm tutorial. This is the same one, but with just slightly different additions just to save automation and space. This is the ARP. The strings from Direct Wave. Here's the other bass. Very simple bass. Simple yoi. The only reason that it has this kind of yoi texture is because of the down sample distortion. I usually have it at this exact same spot. I just put down simple and then I go around 40 to 50 and it always gets that yoi texture to it that's always good in dubstep. Of course, you need the vowel lee high note. Yet again, simple growl bass. And that's pretty much it for like the sound design part of it. And everything else is just layering it on top with each other. Layering is very simple if you can EQ all the frequencies outright. The drums, just simple. Rhythm snares, claps. Cymbals, sidechained. I did do a few other effects in the drop, like this little stutter effect. And for the most part, that's it for the entire song. Second part of the drop has does have a machine gun bass. Which I've had a few comments about Behemoth and by Sudden Death, I believe. I do see where you get that, considering that it's a very machine gun bass as well. Not really headbang, but very, very groovy and very rhythmic. And then the outro, of course, I just have a the 808 and then the hi-hat loop. The hi-hats without any drums, it does play a big addition. I really do think it's a big part of it. Then of course we have the drums while it's just fading out. Now I'll be playing the full song from start to finish.
I also want to say that my friend Ali's Discord server uh, is filled with music producers and is going to start releasing sample packs and is currently working on one which you can find some of my samples in. So if you guys are interested in getting yourself some spicy trick shot samples and a lot of the amazing producers over at Void, then please go check out the link in the description. I'll love to chat with you all there along with my own Discord server. And as always, the link will be in the description to download this FLP. And please have a good day. Thank you. I'll see you guys in the next one.